don't know what's in these things. You've seen the nope fish you know? in the river. Remember River Monsters, that nope fish in the river he caught? Dear God. Yeah, that's a yeah. big nope. Yeah, no. Yeah, you don't know and what kind well, of... And, and he caught... And they, they, people think that this is like in other countries. He, yeah. He's sent to America. Yeah. I know, right? It's they crazy. This, there's, there's like this weird worm thing that like... It's like they're like a snake almost. Yes. Oh. Have you seen that? Where yes. Like a little round mark? Yes. But just be vigilant. Be careful oh. what's around you. What, I mean, a lot of things don't... Make sure you have on your everyday carry a whistle, a mirror, anything yep. that can help you along. Yep. Um, possibly, if you're going to take your family, if you have smaller children, make sure they have like a little life vest on them. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if your child gets taken down the river, you, you can't go chasing after them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, well, as a parent, you'd probably jump in and do it anyways, but... I'm just saying, for the most part, that that's what's going to save them. Yeah. Is, I don't know why I said. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, and as far as rivers go, you got to be careful because um, in a lot of these rivers, especially maybe, you know, after, a, especially after a rain and stuff, you know, um, you got um, a water temperature again uh, because hypothermia. Even to the strongest yes. of swimmers. Yeah. The currents, of course, in as little as six inches, it may look calm on the surface and slow moving, but can it'll knock you over. It will. And sweep you downstream. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You have to think where this water is coming from. A lot of places, the river, the water comes from the, the melting snow. Mm-hmm. Off the mountains. Yes. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that water is going to be... And then oh. when you get swept off your feet, you have the other hazards going on underwater. You've got branches, you've got logs, um, rocks. you know, underwater debris, narrow, rocks, yeah. narrow gaps between rocks. You can get stuck. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can't see that will... Oh, yeah. you think in a flash flood, there yes. could be houses, cars, bikes. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much everything. So, but yeah, all that debris is, uh, that'll kill you. You know, if the, the water doesn't, that will for sure. You, you oh, know, yeah. that's, that's just Absolutely. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, there's really not much that I can add to the river part. I mean, there's, there, there's a lot of hazards and different things, but it's the same with the lakes. A lot of common sense. Stuff. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, lots of common sense. Protect your feet. Wear yeah. water shoes yes. if you're going to eat in the river. Um, make sure your children have some kind of life vest on them, especially small children if you're going to be playing, if they're going to be playing by a river. Yeah. Check weather before you go out. Make sure your surrounding areas upstream have not had storms. Yeah. In a few hours. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Just a different thing. Know, yeah. know where you're at, know where the river goes. If somebody does get washed away, yeah. you know how to go Yeah, you guys, yeah. Right. People have to <laughs> remember, yeah, the water, the, you know, it, when you're doing this, it is, water safety is your responsibility. Know your surroundings, especially when you have kids. Come on. You know, be aware hey, of your yeah. surroundings. See what's going on. Don't let them. So, uh, don't it, rely on other people. So, yes. Don't rely on your city, your government, whatever, yeah. just. Rely on yourself. Save yourself. That's again. That's what this show is about. To save yeah, yourself. Yeah. Before you go out, Google it. See what the weather's like. See. <laughs> yeah. Google it, people. Um, I mean, you can you can get the conditions and what the rivers like or wherever you're going. They'll give you the conditions. You know, exactly. you'll know what. I mean, come on. You Google everything else. Google that. Exactly. Yeah. You can Google the the baby bathing suit you're going to wear to yeah. to the river, then you can Google whether there was a storm recently upstream from you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can Google the conditions of the river, the height, the, yeah. any warnings, anything Yeah, like that, they will, you know? they'll give you all that info. 
Um, well, if, you really, uh, if you really want to get tricky, get a phone book, call the, the Parks and Recreation. Do you remember the phone? You know, you dial it. Yeah. <laughs> Google it. And ask. Yeah. yeah, just Google it. It'll <laughs> tell you. Yeah, it'll give you yeah. the phone number, too. But, I mean, seriously, it's not, um, it, it's just common sense. I mean, we have, there's a, um, in southern Ohio, of course, Loudonville and that, you go canoeing and, you know, because the Mohican River's there. And some years they wouldn't let you on it because the river, it was too fast and too high. Um, because there are deep spots. Not all of it's deep. Some of it, you can, you know, it's just up to your ankles. But yeah. after a big rain, like after today, obviously, it's been raining and thundering all day. But, you know, oh, that yeah, river's going to be fast, faster. Um, and they will not let you on it. They, they pay attention to it. But that's just an example. You can call ahead and they will tell you what the conditions are. Even if they, oh, yeah. you know, we're, we're like here right now, the, the, the river, but we're in a, like a river rising warning or whatever, because right. it's raining for a few days here too. Right. And, and like you said, you can find out these things, save yourself. Do yes. Do you not know, rely on people to, to be there, to be like, oh, hey, by the way, the river is about to rise three feet. You might want to get out of there. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, on the rare occasion, you might find somebody that, that, It'll help you out, but not very often. Yeah, no, no. Nope, they're more, you know, worried about themselves, so. Yep, that, that, that is one of the main reasons for drowning in the river. Yes. Is people swept downstream. Yep, yeah, and a lot of times, I don't think it's the water that gets them. It's a hitting the rocks on the way and every all the other debris in there. Um, and also just, chemicals. I mean, like I said, I know I'm paranoid about this kind of stuff, and I am sometimes, but you have to think about this. I mean, you have to think about what is upstream from you. Yeah. yeah. Is there a power plant near this river? Is there anything near it? I mean, back in, like, some of the, you know, like, like 50, some of the old, like, sewing plants and fabric plants, oh, like, yeah. they told you, oh, we, we, we could tell what color they were working on that day by what color the river was. There you go, yeah. You could dump it into the water. <laughs> and I know they're not allowed to do that anymore. They, they say they yeah. don't, but you know, who knows? It's already but been in there for you. Um, yeah. um, of what's upstream from you? You know, yeah. what, what is upstream? And if you can, you know, try it, try it. You said, use Google. See if anybody's tested the water recently. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's, and I'm not telling you not to go in your river, not to go fishing, not to go boating. Right, you right. Be vigilant, you know. Yeah. You, you don't want to end up with some... Some funky illness, you know, three months out of line, and you're like, oh, I wonder what this is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you just yeah. Never know. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. And again, you know. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think if there was something else about rivers I wanted to bring up, and I cannot remember what the heck it was from life me. <laughs> You'll think of it. I'm sure eventually. <laughs> I'll pop out to the dead portal. Oh, hey, this is. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, by the oh. way. Tanning. This is something. It's not popular everywhere, but there there are a lot of places where panning. Oh yeah, yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Believe it or not, this is actually a causing of drowning. For people panning because they're not paying attention. Right, I can believe that. Yeah. Because they're so busy looking for gold or whatever else, they're not paying attention to what they're doing. That they're, makes sense. <laughs> Wow! Drowning in the river, not, for gold. I would have never yeah. thought that, but oh, that makes sense. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I read that earlier. I mean, it's not like a huge thing, but yeah, I just thought that was interesting that even a, a few people a year die from panning. Yeah, for gold. it's like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can see it. Okay. Um, so if you're gonna be panning for anything in the river, <laughs> pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Always, always, always. Um, I mean, that's just, you yeah, should just, right. it's, yeah. my, my brother told me that once and I will never forget if you it's like, you just, you well, know, he told me because I'm a female, but I mean, he just told me in general, you know, he says, because your opinion is you have to always have the yellow light on. You can't ever go green. He says, no. you can't ever be so comfortable in your surroundings. Right. And you feel safe. He says, because you're not safe. Yeah. And in your, I don't think that's just with females. I think that's anybody. Yeah. That's anybody. Um, also, you got to rem- remember in a lot of these streams and rivers, you know, there's woods there. Um, snakes, watch out for them in the water. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
absolutely. Snakes. And if you, if you live in big country, you know, yes. like what I call big country, like the Northwest, stuff like that. What else hangs out by rivers? Yep. Yep. Bears. Bears love rivers, so be vigilant. And, and you, you need to, I mean, it really has nothing to do with the water, but it has to do with the surrounding of the right. water. Right, right. Take a course, any other read up on something about safety with wild animals, yes. what you should do, things. There's, you know, there, there, there's things you can do to oh, save yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. You know, I mean, at least try to. I think we'll do that pretty yeah. soon camping, huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Great outdoors. Yeah, the great outdoors. Yes. Maybe we can have tips on, like, you know, different things, too, like campfire yeah. foods. I think that would be fun. Oh, that would Maybe be. Maybe we'll do that next time. Yeah, we'll have some recipes, too. Oh, I guess, yeah, that would be I, fun. Yeah, I got some recipes. We'll do that, because that's I coming up. I that online. Yeah. yeah. That'll be fun. All right. Okay. That's what we'll do next time. (laughs) Okay. Now that we've established that, yeah. Uh, But it's the same thing like in the oceans, except 10 times more powerful. Yeah. You know. Yes, the oceans. (laughs) Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Um, You need a. We're going to need a bigger boat for sure. But. Oceans, wow, there's so much good that can go wrong. <laughs> In fact, what scares me, this just happened. Um, a woman was walking along the beach with her son. The waves came in, this was on the news. The waves came in, knocked him down, took him back out. Oh, I believe that. that, that this happened. was just it's last week. Daughter. This was just last week. And I think I told you about yeah. that. Yeah. That was... Yeah, that, yeah. that happened to my oldest daughter. The same exact thing. Yeah. But thank God. I mean, you know, I was on the beach with two girls. And, well, my husband's time my ex now. But he was there. And I had the babies. We had two kids. We had at the time um, my three-year-old. And then I had the baby. And I was, you know, up on beach with the baby and I was looking at there she was playing right by the shore you know but yeah like, no not where the water came in all of a sudden this like road random wave came and took her and just washed and all of a sudden she was gone yeah this is what happened and I freaked I mean and and he went running after her, of course and found her thank god but yes imagine you know <laughs> yeah but she said <laughs> it is horrible yeah can you imagine you're walking with your child, a wave comes in, you look down, and they're gone. Um, in this no. case, unfortunately, she couldn't get them. So, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so that, I mean, if, that if quick. If it wasn't for, for his quick, because well, he wasn't too far from her, but if it wasn't for his quick, you know, yeah. getting her as fast, she would be gone. Took, you know, that wave yeah. comes in, and yeah. then it sucks it right back out, and it'll take you with it. So um, yeah. just be aware yeah, it's nice to walk along the beach, you know, the ocean beach, and, you know, walk in a little bit of water at the shore. Uh, but beware of those waves. They are, they will, uh, it, all of a sudden it'll just happen it, that quick. She said it oh, would, yeah. you know, I, split I've been second. I've standing in the ocean before where it's just cast deep. Yeah. And uh, the, the wave comes in and goes back out, and I kind of lose my balance a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But, well, yeah, that, that, that time with my daughter, I'm telling you, that's like my heart sank. I can't even imagine. I was, I was probably, I was probably about 15 feet from her, and she wanted to go. I wouldn't let her go to the water. She yeah. was just outside where the waves were coming in. She was building a sandcastle, and like I said, here I am with the baby yep. on the blanket and everything, and I look up, and I see, like, this, this huge wave coming yeah. down nowhere. Yep. And it hit her and just pulled her out, and she disappeared. Yeah. That quick it happens, and it's I can't yeah. even imagine um, that you yeah. look down and, and your child. If he had them in close and was able to get to her so fast, she she would yeah. have been a statistic, I'm for sure. Yeah, yeah. In this case, I mean, he was standing. They were standing together, you know, walking together, and it took him out, not her. But um, it's on. It it's just one of those things. But please be aware of this stuff, please. So oh, yeah. yeah. That's- Lot, they're more powerful than you might think, might you know. Uh, and when you get hit with a wave, it, you know it takes your breath away at first. You know, one of those yeah, bigger it waves, it really does. And the first time I had ever seen an ocean, I was about twelve years old because we I, we live in Nebraska, and yeah. I was about twelve, 
and I was at the ocean, and one of my, my older sister's friends had taken